Hey everyone, welcome back to the Philly Outdoors. Today, I got this amazing deal on fly fishing gear. Like, I've always wanted to learn how to fly fish, but I just never had the money to get into it. But I got all this stuff for free. One of my best friend's grandpa just got out of fishing and their grandson wasn't into fishing, or grand, granddaughter. So, I'm just, I got all this stuff for free. It's pretty amazing. I'm just gonna run through it, show you guys, and if you guys haven't got any tips and tricks to learn how to fly fish, please leave that in the comments so I can learn and I'm gonna bring you guys along while I'm learning how to fly fish. To get right into it, I'm gonna start with the rod. This is a brand new rod, still got the price tag on it. Uh, a Daiwa, a Polo, a Polo Daiwa. Paired up with a Martin 61 rod, or reel. This is eight foot. I don't even know how the sensitivity on it. I think I read it somewhere. It's like really sensitive. Um, I just can't wait to use this stuff. I'm so excited. I just got it tonight. Uh, I'll start with the books. Here, are just a whole bunch of books how to make from flies. Uh, we got Fly Fishing, How to Get Started, a fly fishing magazine from Cabela's, a book to a fly tying. A practical guide to fly tying and guide to aquatic trout foods. So this book is, I'm guessing by the title, is how to make your flies and what like design yeah right here. It shows you the design the foods are that the trout eat. Then we got this huge Plano tackle box. filled with all sorts of gear to make flies. Like, I'm so excited. Here, here's a tell. Angle the camera. There's this tray at the top, and he's got these, this is really cool. Okay, so he's got all these containers here, glass containers. And what he has is them is bugs that he found off the lakes. And he just put them in there so he can make his flies that way. Here's a moth. Some sort of bug. And it's just, I have so many of these. At the end, I'll do like a speed through of all of them so you guys can get a good look at them. Then he's got a tube here. This guy used to work in labs, so he has like a lot of lab, lab tubes. These are just some of his flies. I'll lay these out too at the end. What I'm going to start off with was is uh, probably a uh, panfish. And then I'll work my way up to bass. Just all sorts of different cool ones. So I'll set those down. Um, next, he just has different cloths here. Or not cloth, but like different furs. And like I said, got a couple turkey feathers. Some lab things for the bugs. Some more string, scissors, string. Here's some string to wrap around to tie them together. All different colors. This might be a little longer video, so sorry guys. I just want to show you everything that I got. Um, looks like just a pen. No, this is actually a hook. Look at that. You push it and then it is like a hook. Tie to like wrap the string around. A clamp. So you can make the, put this to your table. Put the fly right there and start making flies. Extra tube. Another turkey feather. Uh, little beads. I think bees are pretty important for fly fishing, I don't know. I love gold beads here. It's a box full of those. Oh, he actually has some notes here. Oh, this is pretty cool. It says, like, what, like, the bugs are the best for fishing. Uh, it says mayflies and cattle flies are the best. Stone flies are good. Uh, dry flies are pretty good, it says. I don't even know what these are. But. Oh, this is pretty cool. I haven't even looked through some of this stuff. Look, this is all sorts of hooks, all different sizes. There's even some fly fishing ones right there. Some more beads. Right, let me get this moved to the side. Uh, 
Um, here is string. A lot of string is what it looks like. There you guys can see right from the back. A lot of string, some paint thinner. Clear nail protection, so protection. Oh, he's even got like a some paint polish so you can get a little glitter on there. Some different wires, clippers. There's another quick view. Piece of cardboard here. Then this is like one of the best parts. Look at all this stuff. This um some sort of bird crap. I know the bird of this. Come on. Uh, I can't remember the name. But just so you peel the feathers off there. All sorts of string. More feathers of a bird. Rooster neck feathers. Dry fly hackle. Whatever that is. Um, oh boy, what is this? Um, it looks like some sort of white bird, I can tell you that much. Um, empty bag. And more string. That's even like a wire kind of string there. Pretty cool. Empty bag. Here's just some extra hooks. I can open it up. It's got a big case here. Oh, here's an old Mustad packet. Size 6 hooks. Other old Mustad packet. Size 8. These are really small, size 10 Mustad hooks. And then just some more random hooks. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. I don't want this video to be too long. But I know I need a good video out there that has a little while. So, them are hooks and. Bottom two containers for this are there's little kits, uh, feathers, oh crap, there we go, open it up, a bunch of feathers, they're all in a big bag, I can open a little bag for you guys. Rooster saddles, rooster saddles in white, and we're in yellow. Uh, just some mischief, miscellaneous colors. White, or right, these are strung mabalu, or whatever you want to pronounce that. Dried mallard wood duck. Some brownish feathers, yellow and orange feathers, brown feathers. Um, here's some. Strong Chinese saddle dyed red. I don't want to walk through all these, but here's just some more. These are like a harder kind of feather, but got some white ones, some more brown ones, white, uh, red, a lot of brown. I wonder if I'm thinking brown's a good color because a lot of the bugs are brownish. So I think brown's a pretty important color to have when you're making flies, but I have no idea. I've never done it before. So I'm just going to throw all this stuff behind me. Just throw it all there. Um, the last thing in this, oh, there's actually one more feather. Holy crap. From, I might be mistaken, but this looks like a, yep, pe no, I am right, a peacock feather. It's actually a pretty beautiful feather. The blue and green. It's pretty cool. And then we're on to our furs. I'm not gonna, oh, I guess I can. Sorry, this is gonna be a lot of furs and just different things. Some sort of white. I'm guessing you just pluck the furs off there. Different color there. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. First time looking at this stuff. All different colors. This is a white and brown. Oh, this is a bucktail. That's what it says. This, almost 100%. It's squirrel tail. Oh, uh, this looks like a chipmunk or a red squirrel tail. This, I, I mean, I have no idea what this is. Almost looks like a squirrel of some sort. 
Maybe not. I don't know. It's more of that tail. This is a mu old muskrat. I trap muskrat, so I can I can have plenty of this fur. Muskrat is a very soft fur. If you did not know that, it's kind of like a waterproof. Not the fur, but the pelt is waterproof. It's pretty nice. Different colors there. Here's a rabbit. Red. This is bucktail piece. No idea what this is. Bucktail. Deer hair. This is a natural deer hair here. And then just another squirrel tail. Last squirrel tails. I'm thinking that's pretty good. I can probably get a lot of furs because I trap all different furs I can get. So that is it for the big tackle box part here. Let me get this thing out of the way. Uh, I think there's only one thing left. Let me kind of push this stuff out of the way. Now my desk is going to be all messy, but who cares. Here's just uh, one of those like Christmas tins. Uh, these are all... I don't think these are full. If I'm correct. Yeah, these are just some empty lids in case I decide to collect the bugs and put them in here. There's like, I don't even know how many are in here, like 20? There's got to be like 20 of them in here. Uh, so there's one pack, two pack, three pack, four packs of these. So if, if I can, if I start collecting the bugs and putting them in there, i got enough. Ah, uh, turkey feather. I don't know. It's got a lot of turkey feathers. Are these good for making flies? I don't know. This looks like some sort of bird. This is pretty cool. This is a green feather. This is a fitch, whatever the heck that is. You know what that is? Leave it in the comments. Tell me what it is. Uh, some sort of orange feathers. This is glow yarn. Uh, steelhead trout and salmon was what I meant for, but of course you can use it for anything. This is more glow yarn. It's a pretty soft texture. This is, I have no idea what to say. A calf, a calf tail, a cap, dummy, calf tail in fluorescent orange. Got a brown black kind of feather. It's more of that uh, glow yarn in pink, red, and green. Here is a, oh my jeez, this is probably gonna stink. Ooh, yep, stink, 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 let's not open that, not my room. But, <laughs> you guys can tell, this is a rabbit, it's all dried out. It's a rabbit in a bag. Hopefully that doesn't stink up my room too much. And this is a rabbit face. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's a rabbit face. <laughs> right out in the back. Uh, some sort of bird. Pretty bird there. The dots on it. Orange, black, brown. Some of that glow yarn in Sarchus. Sarchus crankbaits are the best, you know. Glow yarn. Some orange yarn. And I don't think there's any, anything else. There's just a lot of these. There's like, gotta be 20 of these down here at the bottom of the bucket. Just these cases. Microscope cover glass, so you can put your baits in here. This for because he has some baits in the tubes. He doesn't have that many made, but um, of course I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna make more. I'm really excited to make more. So yeah, camera just died. So we're back. Had to give it a few minutes. I cleaned up my mess too, kind of iffy. Not really. Kind of just looked at the stuff more. But when the camera died, or before the camera died, we were talking about these little cases with the foam in them. Because then you can just stick your hooks in there, slide them in, take these fishing with you. But that is it. Like, that is everything, I, I think. Unless I missed something. I don't think so. I don't know, but I'm pretty hip on this rod. I've never felt like such a sensitive rod. It's so sensitive. This is eight foot. I did find the sensitivity on it. It was, uh, or maybe not, never mind. But just a little thing. It says sensitive and lightweight graphite composite. This is a Daiwa, like I said. Graphite comp, whatever that means. It's probably made out of graphite is what I'm thinking. But, I mean, I'm impressed with the rods so far. I plan on going to a couple of local ponds soon, soon, soon. It, we had a huge storm last night. 
and like all the snow is gone hopefully the ice is almost gone but it's supposed to have snow this weekend but it's supposed to get cold again but can't wait to use this make sure to, I'll make sure to get some videos of it probably me failing I mean can you get black lashes with these or back lashes I don't think so can you drop it in the comments but I'm gonna do like one of those views with the music behind I got some dope music I found yeah I'm prepared like that and I plan on getting a new camera hopefully another GoPro first I gotta get money that I don't have but I have a job so I can get that um, but I'm gonna do a quick view and yeah this is probably the last time I'm gonna be talking but make sure to just blah, 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 blah. make sure to subscribe we are at 250 right now hopefully by the end of the year because it's just March, beginning of March, and we have so long. Hopefully, we can get to a thousand subscribers. That would be so so cool. It'd be cool if we got to 500. But I'm gonna do this a little slow mo. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, drop some comments if you're a fly fisherman and you got any tips and tricks or good videos to watch. Do you know any good people that make fly fishing rods besides John B? I know he does a couple fly fishing rods or videos. But adios. Like I said, like five times already. Subscribe and like and. See you guys next time on Let Me Fill the Outdoors.